Salutations friends and welcome to our final video on the Spellforce 3 campaign. So let's yes. start with talking with each of the leaders. Let me know what you know, would you look at that? Taha, good of you to come by. I thought you had already headed out. Hold still for a moment, will you? What? What, what, what was that? Ellen's boon. I guess you could call it an ancient elven blessing. Or just one last trick up my sleeve. And here, I was saving this for me. But I guess there's no room for selfishness anymore. What's that? A potion? Yes, but a special one. Just try it. <sighs> Crazy, isn't it? Here we are, fighting on the same side. Whereas just some moons ago, we were battling each other at the gates of Leonon. Anyway, good luck out there, Taha. May Ellen guide your path. Okay. Taha, is there anything else you need? I think we can buy some stuff from her, but... Yeah, plans, we don't need those. Potions, we're set. Got it. But, yeah. It sh should really... It shouldn't be that strange that the elves would fight alongside the humans of Northander. Which is something I didn't like, having to fight the elves. Which doesn't make much sense in the lore as well. Yes. But let's put that behind us. Don't. No dramatic goodbyes, please. That just makes it sound as though you're not making it out of there alive, and I know you will. What makes you think I was here for a dramatic goodbye? Uh, I don't know. I just figured you might. Anyway, it's good of you to come by. Here, I wanted you to have this. And no, it's not an ancient relic or anything. Just my lucky charm. My father gave it to me. It's an old heirloom. I know it's silly, but I'd feel better if you had it. I didn't know we were that close. Well, we're not, but only an idiot wouldn't see the burden you've put on yourself to end this. Sure, this son of a whore has your mother, but still, you're doing a good thing here. Now please, just shut up and take the pendant. Okay. Thanks, Flynn. Don't mention it. So, I'll leave you to it. We have your back to Har. Count on it. You have my attention. Ah, to Har. Nice speech you gave there. Not too theatrical. Nice and simple. I like it. Thanks. Before that battle in the span, you said that you wanted to see me. Yeah, I'll make it short. Gore was right to trust you. I had my doubts, not just because you're a pale skin, but you proved me wrong. Here, I think you should have this. It's my axe. Don't you need it? I'll get a new one. You're the one fighting the big battle now. I wish I could come with you, but I can appreciate your strategy. And here, Elder Zilrak gave this to me. Drink it before you head into battle. Huh. Looks interesting. It looks like liquid warg shit. And believe me, it tastes and smells the same. But it'll help you. Trust me. Okay, thank you. Will you be alright? Relax, Tahar. We got this. Now go. I've wasted enough of your time already. All right. Yes. As you okay, we only have Eleanor left. You see. Yes. How are you holding up? Do you think you can hold the bridge? Tahar, I've fought the undead for half my life, every week, every day. We can handle a couple of fanatics, but I appreciate your concern. Wait. What is that? The pendant. This? It's a lucky charm. Flynn from the Wayfarers gave it to me. Lucky charm. That's impressive, because there's a lot of magical power inside that thing. Let me have a look. Hmm, indeed. Once all this is over, I want to have a chat with Flynn. I want to know where he got this. For now. Here. What did you do? I unlocked its power. Now, I hate to cut this short, but we should waste no more time with chatter. Drive Lacane back to where he came from. Possibly 50 miles deeper. And you too, brother. Don't die. I won't. Stay safe, Eleanor. Hmm. Okay, we're set. We can't talk to Wolfgar or Hallet. Hmm. I didn't know about that trinket from Flynn. That's something new. What does it actually do? Hmm. Stuns enemies with auto attack. I have no idea what this actually does, and it doesn't really explain. But I'll drink it anyway. Same thing with this. 
and we'll keep Zerbo's ring. Fire Ruler's Legacy, yeah, our weapons are already better, so I won't be bothered with that. Also, let's see if we can give some better equipment to Gore and Undergast. Definitely, the Battle Mage armor should give him overall better armor and resistance. It doesn't really fit Gore, so I'll just give it to Underguest. Just because it looks much better. Yeah, the spell costs... Hmm... The plus 10 focus will be worth it, even if the spell costs do get higher. Let's see, let's test it a bit. Yeah, his regen... Basically untouched. Let's not worry too much. So, Gore. The Light Armor of Thorns definitely doesn't fit him. It doesn't make that much of a difference. So I think I'll just let him keep it. Let's see, Undergast, we do have rings. But the, the Mirror of Glisten, we could give you something much better. Definitely that. And let's go with that, or else we'll stay here for ages. TR, give me hope for what's to come. Alan, let your water cleanse my pain. Me help shield me from the dark ahead. Serbo, guide me through the misty path. Shana, grant my loved ones with your shelter. Arion, bring justice to the world I leave behind. Uh, this is it? Have you have you come to take me to the gardens? Huh. He's completely delirious. Undergast, can you patch him up somehow? I think so. Let me try. What? What are you doing? Hold still. Blazes, I... What happened? I was hoping you could tell me. Where is Lacane? Lacane? In the Hall of Justice. You're Tahar, right? Yes, you are. I'd recognize that face anywhere. <laughs> I am. Tell me what happened. You're Queen's Guard, so why did the Harbinger attack you? I thought you had a truce. We... we did. But then you beat his armies in the span, and... He completely lost his mind. Herman, Sarah... They were negotiating with him, trying to get him to surrender. He just killed him like that. With... with the snap of his finger. Bloody monster. The Queen's Guard is sacred. Duh. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about anything anymore. All he said was that the All Father would protect him, come what may, because he was chosen to cleanse the world and open the gate for his return. Man, so much dialogue. Let's just go on. Don't worry. We'll take care of Lacane. No, he, you can't. His commanders, they have, they have sealed the entrance to the hall. Any idea how we can get through that barrier? No, but maybe my brethren do, if they're still alive. Tahar, I... I think I can fight now. I will come with you. I don't think so. You're bleeding like a pig. But I... Don't throw away your life. Get back to the main gate, and our healers will take care of you. Fine. But promise me one thing, Tahar. Make it painful for him. Make him suffer. Oh, we will. I will. Good. Good. Tiara's blessings. My prayers are with you. Okay, let's move on. There should be quite a force of purity up ahead. What do you want? Well, shit. This is bad. Alistair, he's with the Death Man. Don't you see that crest? Wait. You betrayed Nortander. You're with the Harbinger now? Yes, but look, Tahar. What should I have done? They were killing everyone. I just wanted to live, that's all. If you don't remember who Alistair is, he did help you out in the beginning of the campaign yes. by escaping the prison. 
How did you get them to spare you? Did you surrender? Surrender? No. I, I was off duty when the Harbinger started his attack. And when I got back to the keep, it was almost over. Then Catrus, the Deathman's leader, approached me. He immediately knew who I was, but instead of killing me, he gave me a chance. And I took it, that's all. <laughs> Pathetic. So now you're killing in the name of Aenir? What? No, of course not. Look, the Bane and the Purity are the ones to blame for this. We, the Death Men, we're just for the military operations. Come on, you know me, Tahar. The stakes, the pikes, that's messed up. I would never take part in that. But you didn't try to stop them either. Me? On my own? Don't be ridiculous. You know what it's like to serve under the wrong banner, Tahar. You more than anyone else. Please, just... Let me go. I know a secret way out of the keep, and you'll never see me again. Please. I let you go the last time, don't you remember? And you were in the same situation as I. I know a secret way out of the keep, and you'll never see me again. Yep, let him go. Fine. Get out of here. Oh, thank you. I knew I could count on you. Just don't die, all right? The world needs more people like you. Well, thank you. Okay, let's see if we can give something right. to... Enough time wasted. Let's find Lacane. Yeah. We will. I would like to give him something like... Yeah, let's get the Orb of Fire. Hmm. Potion of Revival or... Yeah, let's go with that. What do we need? I don't think we'll need it. Our hero's already pretty OP. What's next? You read my mind. And the purity really loves their catapults. Okay, did we lose anyone? I don't think so. Yes. Everyone should heal up nicely. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Just not the orcs. They take a while to regenerate. We can help them with that. Okay, these are just low level units. Well, not low level, but they're weak. Scions and the fists. Not much to worry about. Let's just charge them. Well, we could flank them from here, from the left. Instead of fighting them at the stairs, we would get bottlenecked there. Yes. Hmm. What? I'm ready. Yes. Everything has an end. Man, just the way Gore just completely destroys catapults with one hit makes me makes me just love him. Definitely one of my favorites of the companions. Simply due to the fire abilities. Yeah. 
And we're not losing anyone. Well, this isn't really a hard battle. But still, let's just charge them. We'll clear out any or all of the troops here in Greyfell from the purity. Looks like a giant iron one. And there's the barrier the Queen's Guard mentioned. Then let's get ready for a fight. <laughs> yeah, so much for the fight. You're back. Oh, that's mostly to horror story. What was that thing? Don't ask me. Some magical abomination sent by that fanatic, I suppose. Anyway, I'm Queen's Guard old friend. And I suppose thanks are in order. You're here to end it, aren't you? Kill the cane? Yes. Any idea how we can get past that barrier? We still didn't lose anything. Nice. Our troops seem quite beefy. They definitely do more damage than the purity. Okay, let's talk with the Queen's Guard. Man, that giant iron one was completely wrecked. I wouldn't think the hammer would kill it with one blow, but there. Interesting. Lord Marshal Iron here. You're back. Oh, that's mostly to horror's doing. What was that thing? Don't ask me. Some magical abomination sent by that fanatic, I suppose. Anyway, I'm Queen's Guard, old friend. And I suppose thanks are in order. You're here to end it, aren't you? Kill the cane? Yes. Any idea how we can get past that barrier? Yes, I think so. But it's best you talk to Commander Alessandi. She's inside the Queen's Tower. Understood. What will you do? Tend to the wounded, then protect the Queen, as it is our duty. I wish we could help you. But our oath binds us. Kind of ironic, isn't it? The Samo Tahara's prodigal child saves us all. I'm sorry for all they put you through when you were still the army friend. I really am. Well, that's nice. I didn't remember this dialogue. Mm. Yes. One problem Star Force 3 has is just lingering too long on the dialogue with feelings and all that. Yes. But something simple like that, from even a side character, it feels good. Still sentimental, but just not too much. Whatever's necessary. Awesome, so no more purity forces in Greyfell, I think, at least in the courtyard. Did we lose anyone? No, we didn't lose a single unit. That's surprising. Let's keep him there. Let's go and meet Commander Elisande. I think that's her name. This is one of a part of this story of the, the Greyfell map, basically the last map. All this you remember your first encounter with Queen Aerith. After General Noria brought you back from Castle Vastal as a prisoner, she requested to see you. You told her your story, she listened, and granted you amnesty. I'm ready. Hmm, okay. So, I think I'll... This part of the, of the map <laughs> requires a lot of backtracking, so I'll be skipping most of it. There's no reason why you should just watch me backtrack through the whole map. If you insist. Let me know what you need. 
The loot over here, nothing impressive, but we'll grab it anyway. Some stuff to read if you want to. So yeah, let's yes. continue. Lord Marshal, is that, is that you? Commander Lysander. Yes, it is. I'm here with Tahar. The Betrayer's Child. Well, we heard the rumors about you retaking the span, but I didn't think they were true. Until now. What about that abomination? Are my... are my men still alive? Not all of them made it, but some. Ulfram sent me here. <sighs> Finally, some good news. Be that as it may. Word has it that you're here to end it. Lacain? I am. His troops are decimated, and the remainder of them are either imprisoned or fleeing. Do you know if there is a way to get past that barrier? Or another way into the halls of justice that isn't sealed? There's none. And as for banishing it, I don't know. What I do know, however, is that his commanders play a role in it. The Bane Woman, the mercenary, and that masked priest. When he summoned that barrier, he gave them something and told them to keep you away from the hall as long as possible. That's ridiculous. Why would he split up his army and barricade himself in that hall? He knows we'll get in eventually. He does. But apparently he's preparing for something for which he wanted to be alone. A ritual to invoke the return of Aeonir. He's opening the gate. Apparently. Though, something tells me that new unholy magic of his won't bring forth anything divine or good, let alone Aeonir the Allfather. Yeah, makes sense. If we somehow dispel that barrier, will you and your men help us fight him? We can't, for the same reason we couldn't help our brethren fight that abomination. The Queen has to be protected at all times. Trust me, I, I know how that sounds. But it is our oath, and we've sworn it on Tiara herself. If anything happened to the Queen, and we weren't there to at least try to fend it off, we would have failed our calling. Okay. How is the Queen's condition? Unchanged. Her vital signs are steady, but wherever her mind is, it is a place far from this world. A strange thought, isn't it? If, when she awakes, she will not know any of this ever happened. Yeah, she won't. Maybe that's for the better. I'm still not sure I understand why the Harbinger would want to murder you and the Queen in the first place. He would have lost the support of the common folk. Oh, Tahar. I think Lacane is far beyond worrying about such things at this point. He's convinced that the Allfather will come and create this new world he's dreaming of. And in that world, there's no place for a Queen. Least of all one with Hibernian blood in her. In other words, we need to find these commanders of his and find out how to dispel the barrier. Yes. If you find anything, please, come back to me first. I want to have a look at it. Again, I wish we could help you in battle, but we cannot leave this place. And, Lord Marshal, please, be careful. We cannot afford losing you. You won't. Hmm. So here's where the backtracking begins. But since we'll go to the prison for the first time... Now I don't think we'll down. meet anything... important along the way. What do we need? And there should only be special dialogue if you bring along Iria. Well, you can follow us, but I don't think there will be any more enemies. Okay, as for equipment, I think we'll just keep our current setup. The damage alone is worth it. So yeah, if you brought Iria along, she would probably comment on your days in prison. Yes. I never expected to see this place again. Yeah, but she's not here, so only to her. All right, let's see if we can find anything. If the Kane's commander split up, one of them might be here. Yeah, we. Uh, do you smell that? Decay. I'm not surprised. These cells have probably seen more prisoners in the past weeks than during my whole time in the keep. They will fall. Blazes. I need more time. What's next? Man, all the twitching, they really need to fix this. Eventually the campaign will get reworked. I think they're already working on it. 
I can open the cells, but I don't think it'll do much. When they do rework the campaign, I really hope they vi revisit this part. I'm not sure what exactly causes it, but your troops and your characters tend to twitch a lot. The Tiara will give me hope for much to come. Helen, let your water cleanse my pain. Nihav, shield me from the dark ahead. Zerbo, guide me through the misty path. Shanna, grant my loved ones with your shelter. The light will take you! The light will take you Bring me justice to the world I leave behind. Okay, let's check out the crazy. You... who... who are you? Why are you here? I'm Tahar, and I'm here to save you. You... No, I know why you're here. You want to stop it, don't you? But you can't. You hear me? You can't. The God of Light will exalt us all. He has set his eyes on this world, and he will have it. What the? Die! You need to die! Well, that's a proper fanatic. Jesus. Okay, he's dealt with. Yeah, that's Sergeant Esme. We were friends. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's just move on. Yeah, quite a shame, but nothing we can do. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, no special dialogue with the prisoners. A shame. Yes. Wish we could get some support. Well, we don't need it, but still. I don't think there's anything special down here. I'll just keep going. Hmm. Tahar. Stand back. Who are you? Not with the purity. I'm Private Amory Rolf, a scout of House Wolfgar. We did as you asked and secured all the secret entrances that there were. And we also caught some Bane scum who were trying to flee and were able to extract some information from them. It's about their leader, Lilith, whatever her real name is. What did you find out? Two things. First of all, she's down here. Secondly, she has an extreme fear of fire. Apparently something happened to her during her childhood. Maybe you'll be able to use this against her. Hmm. Understood. Thank you, Private. No, it's me who should be thanking you. Tiara's blessings to her. Stay safe. What's next? So, weakness to fire. Well, yes. Gore has um, yes, her antidote. Fighting going on, I swear it. We either go now or we don't go at all. It's too risky. You know what Lilith will do if she catches us? Aye, I do. But what choice do we have? Either Tahar kills us or she does. Interesting. Oh shit. Please, please don't kill us. You're with the Bane. Give me one reason why I shouldn't. Because we didn't want any of this. Please, you need to understand. We we didn't know how messed up these people really are. We've been wanting to flee for weeks, but there was just never a chance. You're telling me you didn't know what the Bane was about? We thought we did. Justice, equality, brotherhood. And that's what it was, at least at first. And then they started plundering, burning villages, even people. The Bane is a band of fanatics. You should have seen that from the start. It wasn't that obvious. Look, we come from a small town. And that sodding mage war it left our lives in ruins. Then Lilith came and she... I don't know. Whenever she spoke, I just felt... Heard? Understood? She promised that Lucane would make the world equal again. And that we, as the Bane, would be the purity sword. But that? The torture, the experiments, the burnings? That's not about equality. There's nothing divine in it. <sighs> Please, just... All we want is a second chance. Well, I'll let you go just for your name, man. <laughs> Fine. Then go. What? You mean it? Aeon is like, thank you. Come, John. Damn, didn't even finish his speech. What's next? Okay, let's take out take out Lilith. Should be pretty easy. So, rock her. Yes. Yes. We'll do. 
Hell of a place she chose. I'm ready. What do we need? So you came. Fine. I'm ready. Huh? Gore. Gore, come on. Yeah, we won't be talking with you. It's over. Your soldiers are dead. And the Purity's army has been reduced to ashes. Yes, I know this. But, again, I'm not afraid to die. I'll do so knowing that I've given my life for something greater. Now show me the full extent of your powers, Tahar. Because I'll take as many of you with me as I can. I don't think you'll take anyone. Alright, let's see if she also has one of these trinkets on her. Well, well. That's a pretty decent thing. Hmm. A ring. Yeah, we have to use it. I really don't want to use it on Tahar. I'll go for Erendir. Yeah, his rings kind of suck. Let's give him this one. Doesn't really matter who wears it. Okay, so I'll skip this again. No need to just spend all this time walking. Have my attention. Okay, let's test the ring. Right then. Let's see if the barrier reacts to this thing. Huh. Interesting. I think it just got weaker. So these trinkets allow the wearer to pass. Seems like it. Let's go back to Commander Alessande. She'll want to know about this. A fine plan. Or we could just go and hunt the other commanders. But yeah, this part gets a bit boring. I don't think there's any reason for us to report to her. But... Let's go. Tahar, please tell me you have good news. I do. The commanders have trinkets that react to the barrier. It seems like wearing all of them allows you to pass. Hmm. A magical gate, so to speak. It makes sense. In other words, you need to find all of the trinkets in order to disable the barrier. Then I should probably look for the rest of these. Yes, as I said, it, it's our best bet. We need to open that door and we need to do it fast. You have my well, that much we could figure out by ourselves. Okay, yes. we'll go for the farthest one. Which is all the way on the other side of the map. And we'll rush it. Should be in the barracks or the keep. I think it's the barracks, so let's just skip it. it. Still feels strange to see the keep like this. Come, let's take a look around. We need to find the rest of the trinkets. Fine. Okay, time to clear the barracks. As you want. Understood. There should be quite a lot of enemies here, let's burn them. but nothing we can handle. The staff of Greykeep? <laughs> Look at this. Look at these people. People killing themselves, throwing fireballs. They just keep cleaning. Not remote I'm not even remotely bothered by all this. Hmm. Let's see what Tahar should be hiring them to fight. So yeah, these are the Deathmen, who are facing Catrus. Come on Ingar, why are you twitching so much? Okay, nothing of real value here. There are guards here, and they're doing nothing. Wish I could get some armor like that. Let's keep going. As you want. Why are all these people cleaning and not even remotely worried? Oh. 
Hmm. These are death men. Seems that this is where they're making their last stand. Yeah, but I still don't get it. Why would Lacane split up his army like that? To buy him time? Hmm. Under gas really is Captain Obvious. They will fall. No more? Okay, let's go ahead and find Catrus. He should be tougher than Lilith. Now, who would have thought the fabled Tahar comes for a final duel? You were right, pal. Seems that I didn't pick the winning side after all. I'm sorry it has to come to this. Oh, don't be. I choose my own fate. You see, Tahar, I know I'm not a good person. I'm a piece of shit, just like everybody who does what I do. God damn it, death men. As if the name doesn't say what we're all about. I've killed and plundered for almost 30 years now, so it's about time I finally kicked the bucket. And also, there are worse ways of going out than three mugs of ale followed by a good fight, don't you think? It was great knowing you, Tahar. Now let's dance. Hold on. Before we do this, tell me about this ritual the Kane is planning. Is he really opening the gate for Aenir? Aenir? Esmeralda the tit-jiggling goddess? A flying unicorn? I have no idea what he's doing in these halls and I honestly don't give a shit. Whatever that ritual brings forth, I won't live to see it. All I know is that splitting up his troops after you conquered the span was among the most stupid things you could have done. When your enemy forces you into a corner, the only way of surviving is to stay together. But then again, I doubt the purity the Bane and Death Men together could have fought back your army because, I have to give you this, your commanders fucking know what they're doing. Anyway, I'm getting bored of the chatter. Let my axe have some last swings before I bite the dust, will you? I don't want to die talking. All right. Do your best. Trust me. I will. Okay, let's Definitely get the mages away from him. Let's see what he what has. The... Huh? What the hell? <laughs> Did Aaron you just KO'd him? Holy shit. Yeah, well, I guess it works. What's Holy next? shit. <laughs> A ring. He completely annihilated him. Holy shit. I was not expecting that. Especially a powerful character. He's not too strong, but still. Getting killed like that. Okay, so let's go on and find the final piece. So here we are at the Grey Tower. So we can find the last piece. We do have some Bane over here, but nothing to really worry about. Let's keep moving. I still can't believe Erendir completely sliced Catrus with one hit. Good move. Let us make this quick. Oh man, more twitch. Another barrier. Looks like the one in the courtyard, just weaker. How do we open it though? Hmm. Maybe try putting on one of the trinkets. Okay, so the next trinket, who am I gonna give it to? The Ring of Riches. Especially since it doesn't give anything. Let's exchange it for this one. What the? She just disappeared. Did. And that trinket you just found on the commander just glowed a little. Huh. Interesting. Yes. Hmm. 
And yeah, Sentenza. Obviously not the real Sentenza. They just had to bring him back somehow. Should be an interesting battle, unless Erendir wrecks him too. What do we need? Now if it isn't the Pariah and Lord Angar, almost like a family reunion, isn't it? This is impossible. Sentenza. Whatever you see, it is not real, Tahar. It's a phantasm. <laughs> Am I? What if I merely returned from the dead? I said that I'd hunt you down, Tahar, didn't I? You betrayed me. Just as you betrayed your father. And yes, you killed me. But what difference does it make? We cannot simply slaughter the demons that haunt us. They're a part of us, and they always will be. Wherever you go, death, betrayal, and suffering will follow. That's the simple truth. But enough of the talking. Time to meet some old friends. Let's get the mages, mages away from them. Isamu too. Let's see just how strong he is. You really thought you could kill me? Just like that? Oh, Tahar, you have no idea who you're dealing with. Useless! You've always been nothing but a useless piece of flesh! Well, it's much for you as well. Is it... Is it over? Yeah. It is. I... I don't get it. That was my father. And Sintenza. I saw someone else. This man must have been a dream weaver, Tahar. He read your mind and confronted you with something that she knew would distract you. I see. Anyway, let's see if he has one of the trinkets. Yes, he does. <sighs> An amulet. It should be useful for one of them. Either Gore or Undergast already has one exactly like it. So I'll give it to Gore. That 10 focus really isn't a priority. Might as well have regeneration. So now let's go and talk with Ellie Sunday. No idea why we need to warn her. Tahar, please tell me you have good news. I found all of the trinkets. Two rings and one amulet. Here, take a look. Show me. Yes. Yes, these look right. Good. Then it's time to test out our theory and see if they can really dispel the barrier. First, we call for reinforcements. We've secured the keep, so there's no reason for us to face Lacan alone anymore. We still don't know the full extent of his powers. Not to mention this ritual he's preparing in the halls. You're right. Then let's send word to the commanders and get a unit up here. A wise decision. Good luck, Tahar, for whatever you will face in there. We will stay and protect the Queen, but our prayers will be with you. All right, all is set. No matter what Lacane is preparing in these halls, we will deal with it. Do you have the trinkets on you, Tar? I do. And my mother. Soldiers, get ready. Lacane is hiding behind these doors. And once we dispel the barrier, I want you to charge in. We still don't know anything about that ritual he's preparing. But it might be dangerous, so be on your guard. But whatever happens, there's one thing I know. Lacan will be put to justice. Many of us have given their lives for this fight, and all of us have bled for it. It was a war that no one wanted. And this is where it ends. The keep is strangely silent as you ascend the Grey Tower. The last time you walked these stairs, you were accused of murder. Now you're told that the fate of Nortander rests on your shoulders. A leaden weariness overcomes you as your mind wrestles with the events of the past moons. A familiar feeling. You do what you did the countless times it has happened before. You shake off the thought. 
For now, all you can do is act. Indeed, so this is the final battle. And I gotta say that speech Tahar gave, eh, not bad, but would have been far better if the units weren't just twitching and running in place, which kind of ruins the moment. Trap, not a trap. The last chance to do the right thing. It's not too late. So you planned this? The barrier? The Harbinger did, yes. He knew you wouldn't take any risks and come here with an army, but he wanted you alone. The barrier won't vanish until the Harbinger wills it. We're on our own, at least for a while. Where is he? Lacane. Waiting for you. He thinks you won't listen to reason, but I still haven't given up. All this, it... it didn't have to happen this way. You make it sound as if it wasn't the purity who started this war. I understand that's how it must seem to you. And believe me, some of the things we've had to do... I'm not proud of them, and I wish they hadn't been necessary. But they were. You see, Tahar, these people, they just wouldn't understand, and they still won't. They refuse to repent. They refuse to accept Aeonir's love, just like a child that refuses the embrace of her mother. And by doing this, they deny this world a better fate. We cannot just stand by and watch Tahar. It's our responsibility not to. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just skip through this dialogue. You can talk with him a lot more, but it ends up the same way and I'm kind of tired of Bertrand. Everyone at this point in the game is probably tired of him. What about the mages? You didn't even give them a chance. I know, and again, I wish these drastic measures hadn't been necessary, but we've had this conversation before, Tahar, back in Everlight. You didn't try to understand me back then, and you won't now. Let me ask you one question, Tahar. Do you consider this world a good place? It is how it is. We just have to deal with it. Well, what if we didn't? What if there were another way? What if there could be peace, prosperity, a world without poverty or hunger, just as Aeonir intended it before we let sin corrupt ourselves? And yes, I know you don't believe because you haven't seen the light. But please, just for one moment, do it. Imagine that you knew for a fact that paradise was within our reach. Wouldn't this be worth these few lives we had to sacrifice? No. I would have given mine gladly if I had been gifted, as you call it. And there were many who were that did. Yeah. But, s sincerely, this is the correct option. <sighs> Come on. Bertrand, I'm so tired of this nonsense. You're repeating yourself, and you're not gonna convince me. Not now, not ever. Well, if these are your last words, what can I do? Will you at least hear out my offer? <sighs> what offer? Well, as I said, there's a reason you're here. When the Harbinger realized we had lost the span, he knew that we couldn't wait any longer. The ritual. Yes, he is preparing the return. But doesn't the Purity believe that the world needs to be free of sin and defilers before Aeonir can return? That's how it should have been. But you left us with no choice. The Harbinger is opening the gate as we speak. That is, he is preparing it. Because as it turns out, your role in all this isn't over yet. He needs you. Me? What for? Well, the amulet. Even though it allows him to control the Archfire, it seems that there's still something preventing him from accessing its full power, which he needs to do in order to open the gate for the All-Father. And it seems that this something is you. Your link to your mother, the Shaper, as long as it exists, the Harbinger can't open the gate by himself. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? It's not that simple. He needs you, yes, but it doesn't matter if you're dead or alive. This is why I'm here. He said it's pointless, that you won't understand, and that all you want is to spill blood, but I still have faith in you. Please, to hard, help the Harbinger open the gate. He promised not to harm you, and it will be the end to all persecution. Yeah. No yes. more stakes, no more executions. Once Aeonir is here, this world will be peaceful once again. You're the deluded man, Carpo. Yeah. I'm sorry, Bertrand. 
McCain needs to be put to justice. But maybe it's not yet too late for you. In that case, it is. I just wish you could see the world that I see to heart. I truly do. And I'm sorry. What the? Bertrand, no! <sighs> Such a pointless death. He's made his choice. There was nothing we could have said to convince him. Indeed. One less fanatic. We're supposed to be feeling sorry for him, but come on. Okay, so how long does this work? Could give that to Erendir. I need to give him this, this talisman, just in case we die. I don't think we will, but just in case. So let's Wait, go ahead. My child, is that you? What was that? What do you mean? My mother. I think she's talking to me. He can't hear me. I mean your thoughts, and I can hear yours. You need to stop him, child. He, he wants to use the essence to open the gate. So the return is real? He has the power to bring Aenir back into this world? No, that is, yes, through the essence, the Archfire. He has the power to bring something back into this world. But it is not the deity they pray to. This man, all of them, this thing, this creature, is using them. It has been from the start. Is it really true that he needs me to complete the ritual? Yes, as long as you exist, he cannot open the portal without you. That is why he wants to kill you. Whenever he claims otherwise, it's a lie. I understand. Just don't give up. I will get you out of there. Come. Time to end this. So I was right after all. I knew it was pointless, but Bertrand insisted. He was always too idealistic. Hmm. Nonsense! He died because you indoctrinated him. If I had that power, there wouldn't have been the need for so many executions, would there? No, Tahar. You're wrong. Bertrand Carpel saw the light on his own, just as I did seven years ago. All I did was extend my hand and offer guidance. I'm afraid he is right. Your friend, Bertrand, he was looking for something to fill a void within him. And that's what the purity provided. Andragast, don't agree with the fanatic. I think... yeah, let's... Do you really think you can win? You're outnumbered. We shall see about that. He's confident. I'll give you that. Let's use all the dialogue options. You're making a big mistake, Lacan. It's not a and you're bringing back. It's something else. And here I thought you considered the purity's faith. A fantasy. Look, my mother is still in this amulet. She just told me. Whatever entity it is that sent you these visions, it's not Aenir. Forgive me, Tahar, but if you want to convince me, you will need to come up with a better tale than this. Seems that this is the only way. Then don't hold back, Lucane, because I won't. So be it. Yes. It's over. Mm. Ready. What is it? Not bad, Tahar. I'll give you that. Let's see how you deal with this. Abominations. Gore alone is gonna wreck him. You don't know what you are fiddling with, Tahar. Not at all. Zorik's fangs! That's a lot of them! Infidel! You'll burn for this! What do you want? The pools! They're protecting him! You 
don't know what you are fiddling with, Tahar. Not at all. Yes. I need more time. Infidel! You'll burn for this! No. I... I... Is it... Is it over? Tahar! Agar? What? The barrier vanished. What... what happened? Is he... He's dead. You ended it, Tahar. We did it. Finally. Yes, Tahar. He is. The war is over. But that power, it was immense. Yes. That was the Archfire. Something tells me he merely had control over a fraction of its power. What about your mother? Is she still in that amulet? I don't know. Andra? Mother? Are you... Are you still there? <sighs> yes, I am. It's over, child. He is dead. Tahar? Is everything all right? Yes, it is. Well, good then. What about your mother? Is she still in? happening what is this the creature the thing is opening the gate by the face of time you need to stop it Zorix fangs what is this thing kill it Recovering. The amulet. You need to destroy the amulet. But... I will use my powers to stagger it once it has regenerated. Then you need to trap it and destroy the amulet. Do it. Jahar! Trap it! the amulet we can't kill it trap it somehow all of you together now understood all together now we we can't hold this for long do what you need to do to her and do it now do it if i destroy it what will happen to you you know that already don't you quick now child i I can't keep this up much longer. I'm sorry. You... You do what you have to. She's gone. Three weeks have passed. 
Shortly after you stopped Lacane and the entity that took control of him, the Queen awoke. The remnants of the purity were tracked down and hanged. But no amount of killing could heal the wounds this war has left on Nortander. Also, one question remains. What will become of the mages? The Queen believes she has found a solution. The Circle. It is a council of sorcerers from all races and empires, whose purpose is to control the use of magic and to give a face to it, in place of those who are too afraid to show their own. Okay, that was quite a battle. Not really that hard. I just wish we got some clues as to what the hell that thing was. It's definitely not part of the Red Horde, so let's just continue with the game. Nice view, isn't it? Yeah. Quiet. Something you need? <laughs> Why? Do I need a reason to talk to you? You don't. But you know that already, don't you? I guess I do. But yeah, there's a reason I'm here. The Queen wanted to see you. That is, all of us. The healers almost rioted, but she insisted. Already? She's only been awake for a week. Yeah, but you know, Hibernian blood, royal attitude. She's not someone to lie around while someone else picks up the pieces of her shattered empire. Strange enough that she woke up so shortly after Lacane died. Almost symbolic. What do you think she wants? Is it about this mage council she wants to form? The Circle? I guess so. She's made it clear that she wants us to be a part of it. Kind of crazy, isn't it? Four months ago, I was here as a prisoner. Now they want me as the head of some council. You sound a bit nostalgic. Do you miss the road? You know me too well, Tahar. Yeah, I miss it sometimes. But then again, mages need protection. We simply can't let history repeat itself. And if I can contribute to that, I'd have to be one heck of a coward to run for it now. The Circle. It sounds funny. Kind of dramatic. Speaking of it, have you heard anything about Isgrim yet? No. To be honest, I'm a bit worried. His knowledge about the rune, that mind control thing. It's dangerous. Hmm. Anyway, this shouldn't be the time for gloomy talk. We won, Tahar. The price was high, but we did. I know, but there's still... I know. The God of Light, the runes, the troubles in Windwall. But all that can wait. Now come on. The Queen expects to see us in an hour. So there's still enough time. Time for what? A bottle of Windwall brandy. Vintage 468. The others are already waiting in the courtyard. And no, don't give me that look. We've earned ourselves some rest, Tahar. Trust me, we have. And there, we finished the campaign. Took me two years, but there we have it. Okay, so my final thoughts on the game. I have very mixed feelings on Spellforce 3 and what, what can I say? It breaks a lot of established lore and that's something I really hate about this game. I'll leave a video in the description that highlights most of my problems with the campaign lore. But yeah, stuff like the purity creating the Iron Ones, it's really hard for me to accept it. But still, I highly recommend the game anyway, RTS RPG is an, an awesome blend and it deserves far more attention than it gets. So even if I dislike the story, the gameplay is far more enjoyable for me than something so basic as Spellforce 2, which has a, a great story but the gameplay is basic RTS. So yeah, the soundtrack as you can see, it's epic. And if you just want a, u a unique RTS with a long campaign, then this is still an amazing purchase. And Tahar is a likeable character. So yeah, I hope this campaign can be of use to those of you who struggle with it. I will of course be completing the campaign again when the developers are done reworking it, bringing it up to standards with Soul Harvest. So yeah, we'll see you then. And yeah, leave a like, comment, or subscribe to show your support, and I'll see you on our next video. Goodbye.